Yes. Sometimes the noble thing to do is to disregard a federal law. Uh, the states before the Civil War that refused to enforce the fugitive, a, uh, a fugitive, fugitive slave laws were acting nobly. Rosa Parks, when she, when she went ahead in, in civil disobedience, refused to abide by a segregationist decree, was acting nobly. I mean, if you want to go international basis, those in, in Nazi Germany that were, you know, hiding Jews and, and, and saving them from the state, I mean, that was illegal, but they were acting nobly. There, there are certain times in history and certain times when the noble thing to do isn't necessarily what the central government says to do. And I want to be on the right side of history. When we have a case where the federal government says it's okay to take a U.S. citizen before they're tried, before they have a chance to be heard, and indefinitely detain them and deny them habeas corpus, the right to an attorney, the right to a trial by jury, the right to appear before a judge, I think that's wrong. And I want to be on the right side of history and not just simply do whatever the federal government says we ought to do. And it, it really surprises me. Um, that the Democratic Party, which has long stood for civil liberties, which has long been suspicious, I think, of interference with individual rights, would, would be opposed uh, to the notion that if an American citizen is suspected of terrorist activities, that that American citizen shouldn't be afforded the usual due process rights, whether it's habeas corpus, the right to an attorney, the right to confront the accuser. I mean, these are bedrock principles of constitutional law. Uh, and, and again, the, the noble thing to do at certain points in our history has always been to, quote, break the law, unquote, if it takes that. Rosa Parks broke the law. Um, the states before the Civil War that refused to, you know, return captured slaves to the southern states, they broke the law. Um, again, those in Nazi Germany that were harboring Jews, you know, so they didn't go to the gas chambers, they were breaking the law. Sometimes there is a higher moral law that you have to follow. And if we become so legalistic and thinking that, well, you know, the federal government passed this law and Congress says we should do this and therefore I think maybe we have to do it. You get yourself in that legalistic box. You, use your, you lose yourself as a human being. You lose yourself in looking at is this just, is this right. I don't want to be a nation like that.